Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and today will be a very exciting day because I'm gonna be giving you a free pre-keyed elements so you can do a hand clock landing without using a 3D Studio Max to create that, you know, explosion, um, ground explosion and all of that. Alright, so this pre-kit you can download it by go to the description and you can uh, click the link there and you're gonna go to here and you're gonna download it after you download it it will be uh, like this you're gonna need WinRAR WinRAR is like uh, um, some program to extract some files so the file is actually in RAR so you have to WinRAR it and right click on it and extract files and you will find something like this inside this you will find some ground crack that uh, maybe you already watch my Hancock landing tutorial part 3 when I teach you how to create this in 3D Studios Max but I realize none of you not all of you guys have 3D Studios Max so if you not have 3D Studios Max I create this for you so you can download it it's only um, 11 megabytes so it's not that large and also a video file which is um, a run explosion that you can use alright so let's just get started in uh, before watching this tutorial, you have to watch my Hancock Land tutorial part 1 so you will understand what are we going to do here. So, we already did this in my Hancock tutorial part 1 when you're landing, just like that. And now, you're gonna go to the first pre composition when there's no camera shake, you know, plain one. So, you're gonna see when uh, I start touch the ground, maybe there. And you're gonna double left click and open the file from your download from Tara Arts Essentials. Alright, so, well, maybe you guys also have Action Essentials too from Video Copilot, but for you guys who maybe I'm lucky because you don't, you don't have money, so for Action Essentials, Action Essentials too, well, you can use this free um, ground explosion even though it's on the tree. <laughs> Because you know it's 3D, it's kind of long to render. All right, so let's get back to the tutorial. So let's say we're gonna choose ground crack small here. We're gonna drop it to the composition here. We're gonna scale it down, and you're gonna change it from normal to hard light, just like that. And then you can set this to the ground, and it creates a ground crack. And then maybe you can you can even combine it with another ground crack. Maybe this one, ground crack medium. Also change it from normal to hard light. And as you can see, um, your feet is kind of see through here because the ground is actually in front of all of this um, uh, uh, footage. <laughs> How hard to say footage? Alright, so all you can do is choose all your choose all of our footage that we'll create that we'll already create in our uh, recent tutorial and you're gonna go to layer and pre-compose it so you're gonna pre-compose it and then all you're gonna do is ctrl D to duplicate the footage you, you can uh, turn off the sound here and then all you're gonna do is uh, create a mask for your feet it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna use some uh, go on explosion and it will covered by that so set this to up there both everything and there you go your problem solved you can even if you want it to be a little bit more neater you can feather it out just like that all right so that is basically what you're gonna want to do and don't forget uh, this is actually uh, the part when you both of your feet touch the ground and you you gonna wanna uh, the crack appeared at that time so you're gonna click uh, the both of the crack ground crack here and alt begin bracket and press alt begin bracket so it will appear only when you touch the ground just like that and then uh, we can import our uh, pre kit video which is the small ground explosion here for example drag it to the comp and as you can see it's a very nice ground explosion in the alpha channel so you can see this when the 
crown shield blown up and then you can move it just like that to find the perfect time when it's blown up and don't forget to alt big bracket also and maybe bring it down or maybe not <laughs> all right so if you see this it's actually pretty cool this is like small the bridge you can make it large yes like that to fit the composition there you go when you land the gun is kind of messing up all right maybe you, you can even combine it with the medium ground explosion too so drag it to the composition and let's see when you uh, when your feet touch the ground that's when everything disappeared and there you go don't forget I'll put in bracket and as you can see it's very nice and then combine it too with the big ground explosion maybe also add this to the composition and then again <laughs> I'm gonna show you one by one here and maybe for the big one we're gonna set this below everything and I'll be in bracket again alright so as you can see if you uh, preview this you can see this very very cool you just like Hancock and guess what you don't need 3d studios max <laughs> but of course 3d studios max is a very very cool program I even create this in 3d studios max so you have to buy it if you have the money and of course the ray fire plug in to make this easier to create this thingy look at that and as you can see here of course uh, the the color is not matched with the scene so you have to do that by yourself by of course click the whatever you want to color correct it and go to evex color correction sorry evex color correction and maybe levels or curves just match it with your background just like that so if you want to make it red just make it red if you have some asphalt footage make it black of course you can set the like brightness and contrast and etc alright guys so that's it and the last thing I want to show you is this let's say you're gonna very long um, just like this I got a long video here so this a ground explosion is actually very short video so maybe you kind of disappointed oh my god it's so short my video is kind of long and why not and I want that you know um, that uh, explosion is stick to the ground still you know I'm sorry for my bad English <laughs> alright all you can do is you can click it and go to very last frame of the ground explosion video let's say we're gonna turn it off the two of both of this and just one of this the, the big one let's say um, it's over right there so you're gonna go to the very last frame here and you're gonna duplicate it so control D so to duplicate it and then you're gonna right click on it and time and freeze frame so you're gonna freeze the frame and set this whatever long you want I mean uh, yeah let's say to this and there you go it's kind of long and then what you're gonna do next is click both of this uh, duplicate uh, layer right click on it uh, I'm sorry you're gonna go to layer pre compose it and there you go you have a yeah you have a long footage just like that that's all you're gonna want to do all right guys so this is, should be a very quick tutorial so this is for you guys who doesn't have 3d studios max or um, ray fire plugins cause actually lots of people commenting in my Hancock Lenny tutorial part 2 and part 3 they said I don't have 3d studios max or I don't have the ray fire plugins alright so this is what you're gonna want to do you're gonna download this and use it it's free <laughs> And if you find it useful, please subscribe to my channel. Of course, you can read again. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Alright, so subscribe and uh, wait for our next uh, cool videos and tutorial. And this is Tarfuntar Artist Movie. See you.